Why do we have hair on our heads? I mean, beyond our global, age-old aesthetic obsession, scientifically. Do we need it? Because if we need it, I'll keep it. Or as much of it as I can. But if we don't... I understand the theories as to why our species of bipedal ape evolved to lose the fur on our bodies, whether it was to out-endure prey on land or move more swiftly in water. But why do we keep the hairy scalps? To answer that question, I turn to my best friend Christian, a lab scientist by training who's helped me understand complex topics for years, and also happens to have truly glorious hair. The key practical function of which, he explained, is protecting the head's precious contents. There's a reason that the brain is under this hair. You need your brain. You need your brain. It's not optional. Which is why it's important that Beyond serving as a follicular helmet against minor impacts, hair also acts as insulation. In very cold temperatures, we want to maintain the head being warm because the brain is what's going to guide the body back to a warm place. At high temperatures, hair keeps our brain from overheating. Hair has a tremendous amount of surface area. It serves as sort of a sponge for sweat that facilitates some evaporative cooling. Relatedly, it shields us from ultraviolet rays. It protects you from solar radiation. Let's talk about the idea of hair as whiskers. There are plenty of sensory nerve endings in your scalp, and they're very sensitive to the slight movement of your hairs. Perhaps you're walking up into your attic or something like that, and you feel maybe a spider web touching your head. It's useful to get that kind of early warning. Sometimes it's just you know, three inches of early warning. Yeah but those three inches could save your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the hard part. Do we have hair on our heads for sexual selection? Probably. No. <laughs> Talk to me about that. People were choosing mates based on this somewhat, at least partly, not only from a, an attraction standpoint, but from information about fitness. The same species that evolved to have hair on their heads also evolved to have a whole bunch of people who eventually don't have hair on their heads. We are, from an evolutionary standpoint, really not meant to live as long as we do. Some of these things that aren't directly connected to our immediate survival, they just kind of stop working after a little while. Hair is, it isn't really that terribly important. And obviously it's not a deal breaker. Otherwise, everyone alive today would have a full head of hair. Should I shave my head? I think modern life gives you alternatives to hair that can produce the same effects as natural hair. Like a hat. For example, a hat. Yes, a hat is a great example. A hat actually has some positive attributes versus a hair, right? You can put it on and then take it off. Hello, hats. Goodbye, hair. You look great, bud. Thank you.